Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Badly. Oh, yes. Welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. If this is your first time here, welcome. We are glad to have you. Uh, and if you want to see the story from the beginning and not from episode 41, I think is what we're on right now, uh, check the top right hand card. Be a link to the full playlist. You can start from one or you can stay here. You know, it's up to you. Might be a little confusing. We're pretty deep in the narrative, though. Either way, glad to have you. Welcome to the Antics Show. Indeed, yes. Right. And if you are not caught up on the story and want to embrace the chaos, enjoy. Yes. There's a lot going on. Just double checking to make sure I picked up a flower. I think it might be in here. The white flower? Yeah. Pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. White flower. I should just start looking at order obtained from now on. It's so much easier. Yeah. Yeah, right. So that was, uh, we had done the TV shopping, bought the white flowers, so now we're going to hang out with uh, yes. Sun, Social Link, and be sad for a moment. Well, yeah, well, we came on off a sad episode too, right? Because like, we just dealt with uh, the betrayal and Mitsuru losing her dad. and Yeah, uh, so much happening. Yeah, it's, it's just been back-to-back -back ridiculousness, so... Falling into some More. normalcy on the social is going to be weird. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. You're uh, here. Yeah, we are, buddy. Ooh, you're having a bad day, huh? Oh, man. <laughs> yep. Sorry, it's happening again. It'll pass soon. But would you mind staying with me until then? Yeah, we got it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. I got really into my reading last night and never went to sleep. I've done that before. I thought I'd be fine since I've lost sleep from the pain and anxiety of my illness before, but I suppose I'm not doing my health any favors like this. Hmm. True. Very true. Uh, it doesn't matter what we pick. And you need to listen to your body. Yep. Thank you. Or rather, I suppose I should apologize. It's been so long since anyone told me off or anything. <laughs> I came out here because I was hoping to find you. I only have so much time left, you know. Do you remember when I said I like reading heartwarming stories? There are as many stories as there are stars in the sky, but I don't think any of them are what I'm looking for. The problem is, None of those stories were written for people like me. I guess I'm just being selfish. Just like I am with you, too. You're always coming to visit me, keeping me company and talking with me. How much of your valuable time have you spent with me? I don't deserve it. You're spoiling me. That's why I like you so much, though. <laughs> Kamaki smiled weakly at me. I feel like our relationship is growing stronger. What would a book for someone like him look like, you think? What would a book for someone like him? Yeah. Like, what kind of book would he read? <laughs> right, because... Sorry, oh. I was in such a good mood that I overexerted myself. Oh. I'd like to see you again sometime. You got it, dude. Part of ways is comic key and then headed back to the dorm. Yeah, because, like... He's dealing with a incurable illness. Mm -hmm. So what might he read in that scenario? Right, because he said he never finishes books, right? Because that, that means it's the end of the story, and he doesn't want to reach the end. Sure, um, yeah. And so I'm just I'm kind of curious what a book would look like if it was written for somebody in that situation. Some, hmm. some form of fantasy escape fiction, right? But at some point, the book has to end. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, you could just not have the final page in there kind of thing. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't thought about that before. <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> the wait is over. Anyway. On the second floor. On oh, the second goodness. floor. Uh, give the white flower to Junpei. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, hey. Hmm. Tomorrow, I'll visit her for sure, but, hmm. I don't know what to say to her. If only I had some kind of reason to see her. The flower. All right, well, here. Huh? Huh? Hey, isn't this? Come on, let's have a little chat. <laughs> Why do you have these flowers? Because you were looking at them and you chickened out. That's right. Did I cross a line? Does it matter? Mm, not that I can see. Okay. What the heck, dude? What's your deal? Or is this like a crush thing? Because this is too much love to handle. <laughs> Some of these are great. Well, I don't hate you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why you always have my back. That's why I rib you constantly. Damn it. You really backed me into a corner here. I can't just not go now after all this. Exactly. But, well, thanks. Guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Junpei, do you Maybe know how to I finesse come anything? bursting in with the whole bouquet. <laughs> yeah, he's not exactly... <laughs> he's not a finesse style person. Ba -ba barbarian. Ba -ba barbarian. All right. Yeah, exactly. So we're walking Koromaru, shock of all shocks here. I, I know, right? <laughs> but he's just so cute. That's right. We're gonna get some points. Hey, we meet again. Oh, right, you're walking your dog. Wait, have you been doing this every day? Pretty much. Yeah, it feels like <laughs> it, for sure. So his name's Koromaru-kun. Wait, it's written with the kanji for tiger and wolf? What a badass! You should see his persona. Exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome back, little buddy. Oh, you can run around all by yourself, huh? Oh, aren't you a clever boy? Oh, man. I actually need to get going. I'll see you later, you two. Yeah, he's actually obnoxiously smart for a dog. Yeah. Good doggo. Okay, so the ninth. On the ninth, we hear people talking. That's right. Hey, good news. I heard the boy who's transferring here today is one hot stud muffin. <laughs> well, yeah, he came to school the other day to submit with some paperwork, right? I wonder which class he's in. If our seats are next to each other, we'd have to sit real close to share textbooks. Well, he's actually going to be in 2F. We'll just have to go check on him later. Check him out later. Yeah. Mm. That's my class. Oh, boy. And he'll introduce himself to the class. Now we play as the real protagonist. No, just kidding. <laughs> 80 hours in. That was oh, just yeah. the prologue. Today we have he has the protag look. Student. He does. Look at him. That is an anime protagonist. Oh, it, my God. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Hello, I'm the hero of this story. <laughs> is this really our third one? Guess that makes it a hat trick. Oh, right, because I guess transferred in middle of the year. Go on, Indeed. introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. It's the scarf. I was mm. thinking the same thing. <laughs> hey, not so loud. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Hmm. I'm pretty sure he's looking at me. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work. And that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi? That seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life <laughs> is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Nice. Uh-huh. <sighs> hey there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Hmm, dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. 
<laughs> Dinner? <sighs> hmm? I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? No way. There's plenty of dramatics going on right now. I know, go back to your MMO, it's fine. We'll be back. Exactly. <laughs> go play your MMO. Pay close attention, alright? Settle down, everyone, just because we have a new student that doesn't give you license to misbehave. Anyone who doesn't pipe down ne now gets left out of the school trip next week. Got it? Good. Now let's begin. Where did we leave off last time? Ah, forget it. I don't need the textbook for this. <laughs> I am feeling sleepy. You must stay awake. So now that we have maxed out academics, you actually can close your eyes if you want. But I think what we'll do is stay awake just so you can see the scenes here. Yeah, the dialogue. Uh -huh. Yep. Indeed, it was I who found the corpse. That's it. I'm not going to say it again. Be quiet. The student who actually wants to pay attention can't hear. If you must gossip about Mochizuki-kun, wait till the break, or just talk to him yourself then. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Maya! Listen to the rant about the new student. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after school... Mochizuki-kun! How was your first day after transferring? I hope you like it here, Mochizuki-kun. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun? Sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. It's tea time! Yeah, let's see. That's right. Right, could you come along too? Why me? <laughs> of course. Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. Now you have a main character duel. <laughs> uh, sorry, hold on. Well. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Oh, that's why. <laughs> the question is still there. Why me? <laughs> All of them? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the no. boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. Oh, those are heavy boxes. I signed these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, d Mr. <laughs> Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on. You're talking about. You can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself? Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. Uh -huh. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Just start calling you Mochi-kun. There you go. Like a delicious treat. mochi Mochi? Ooh. I think that's all of it. That was... Harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Something like yep. that. It's I have extra. <laughs> <laughs> I have extracurricular activities. Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to that join one. one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. <clears throat> oh, that's right. What do they have on his wrist? It's an interesting-looking wristband thing. This caught my eye when we walked in. I notice you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? I'm really into Sound ignoring good. other people. That's right. I'm not interested. Uh, <laughs> sure. Why not? Great. And here goes.
<laughs> How was that? Any good? Masterful. I, I impressed you. It might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet. So I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Try someone else. Nice to meet you. You could be so cold in this game. <laughs> <Likewise. Likewise. laughs> Thanks. Somehow, it already feels like we've known each other for a long time. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right. I think we exchange phone numbers. What? Are you actually Pharaohs? Uh, yeah, that's sorry. my question. I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. It's got some similar intonation, interestingly enough. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Yeah. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. After giving so Ryoji a tour of the school, I return to the dorm. There's something about him that lingers on my mind. Yeah, he's dangerous. Yeah, we do get a Persona stat boost during all of his linked episodes. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Um, so he's dangerous, according to Igus, and something about him is lingering. So, right. And he's just shown up after death rank 10. Right. So... Sup, yep. dude? What do you think about that Ryoji kid? He's going around asking not every girl he sees. <laughs> Damn, I wish I had his guts. Not another one. <laughs> oh, boy. That's that's a mood, though. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so either that or he, uh, if we remember, um, the chairman also mentioned there being a prince. Who would be able to summon forth death? Yeah, yeah, so that's true. I, I think he's either, and, they, and that, that doesn't mean they're mutually exclusive, but right, I right. think there's some tie-in to to death and pharaohs here, probably. So we are going to go to the lobby PC this evening. Oh wow, we're not brushing Koromaro so he has shiny, pristine hair. Apparently I'm not. Shocked. Not this time. <laughs> Next time, gadget. Uh, Sorry, we're gonna... for <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Ninja fan site. Now, I, I just his like pathetic whine noise ripped through my brain. Oh. I just <laughs> short circuited there for a second. Like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I went to Julia no. after this. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that one for this evening. Yeah. In Japan site note. Cool. Yeah, I sorry, I just I know we've talked about this before, but I just love the idea that someone auditioned for the role of Koromaru. Mm-hmm. <laughs> someone got paid to be Koromaru. To make dog noises. And like yeah. they're doing a great job. They really yeah. are. And it's there's no complaint. I just I have it's to wonder convincing. how that went. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Like, did they know that they were going to be playing a dog when they went in for that audition? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, Can you whine like a dog? Can you bark like a dog? Right. Yes. Let me see You're it. hired. <laughs> Take my money. Ninja hideout. It looks like a foreign forum where people post about ninjas. Nimpo. Ninja research score 222. Looks like people are serious about becoming real ninjas. I'll take a look. Become a ninja. No ninin. Ninjas have <laughs> unique breathing methods such as Fute Ibuki, Okinaga, and more. I found some interesting breathing techniques that ninjas use for long distance travel. Maybe I can use this to run swiftly like a ninja myself. Ambush has been enhanced. The amount of time needed to dash before being able to ambush is decreased. Oh, that's excellent. You're a ninja now. Congratulations. That's right. I got I got them Nimpo steps. Yep. This has gotten late. I should head back to my room. I think the lobby PC is one of my favorite things 
uh, in this game because it's literally you go to a store and they like write down website Morning. URLs and give them to you. It's just yeah. really funny because <laughs> this game first came out when the internet was not what it is now. Right. And so it makes a lot of sense, but it's just, ah, it's yeah. cool. It's oh, funny. thank you for the $20. Here's the QR code. <laughs> yeah. Morning. I heard Kyojo Senpai is coming back today. Oh, good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. I guess. Oh. What should I even say to her? I wouldn't be surprised if she's not up for talking, though. Oh, yeah, well, at least wondering... that wasn't the snide, I guess. I think that was, uh... Yeah, yeah, it was more of a, I don't know what to say in this situation. Right. Hi, also, I guess. Also, <laughs> there's the elephant in the room that we have yet to address Igus and everything that happened with her. Yeah. Yeah, just... Hey, we should have a conversation about this. Like, no, can, not really. Can this happen again? Should we like mm -hmm. do precautionary steps? Yeah, I'm assuming we're gonna. It's one of the weird things about the way Persona is paced. Is like, okay, this stuff happened. Now, um, go do social stuff for a bit, and then we'll talk about it right. in like a week. And it's like, no, no, we have to talk about this now. We got to mull it over first. Yeah, yeah, apparently. <laughs> Um, we are doing Justice Rank 10 today. Oh, okay. Time to finish a social link. to finish? Yeah. We've established that we will be friends forever. That's right. Hello there. Hello, Yuki-san. Are you going home now? Did you know that Student Council has a street fundraiser every year? I'm actually going to start prepping for it by making some flyers. If you're free, do you think you can help me out? It feels like we can grow closer thanks to the Justice Persona Throne. Not that I need it anymore. I just so still much. have it from the last time we talked. Thank you. Exactly. There's no meeting today, so let's go ahead and use the student council room. I love how we've just let Thank Magician hang at nine for a while. Me. Indeed. Did you know that if you want a space to do street fundraising, you have to send the application two months in advance? I wow. wonder if this is going to be enough flyers. Hmm. Does not matter what you say here. Looks tough. <clears throat> yes, it is. But this is what I signed up for. The student council president mentioned the street fundraiser before, and now that it's almost here, I asked to be in charge of it. Ever since that business with Mr. Talking Nozuka got resolved, I felt more confident. Or maybe proactive is the better word. I can even talk to the boys in my class now, too. Well, a little. Anyways, running this fundraiser is just the beginning. From now on, I'm not going to be afraid of trying new things. Good for you, Chihiro. Oh, You've come a long um, way. I'd appreciate it if you could still help me every now and then, just like today. I believe in you, Chihiro. There you go. Yes, Encouragement! You. Oh, that reminds me. <clears throat> Do you remember that illustration collection I found at the bookstore? Apparently, someone ended up buying it. I checked the other day, and he wasn't there anymore. It was probably me. But for some reason, I'm not sad about <laughs> it. As long as whoever bought it is happy, then I'm happy too. Um, I'd like you to have this. It's a collection of manga short stories by the same artist. I bought it a long time ago, and I read it so many times that I've practically memorized it. Is that why the pages are falling out? I'd like this book to be read by all sorts of people too. Just like that illustration collection, I'm sure that's much better than me just keeping it for myself. Could I ask that you be the first of those many readers? I'll take it. Shoujo manga. Yeah. When you finish reading it, please pass it on to someone else. Maybe it's not in Whoops. print. And what have you done? I've done things. Maybe it would be a good <laughs> idea to hand it off at the bookstore. I accidentally the Tell me dialogue. More, so you'll never see it in new releases. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so lucky to have met you. That book couldn't be in better hands. Why? Thank you. Justice. I am thou. Thou art I. Mm. The innermost power mm. we now bestow upon. <laughs> the ultimate form of the justice within thyself. Yeah. Justice. This this Persona 3 has easily got the longest like span between lines when we hit these sections of all the personas I played. That's true. Just random like 20 second it, gap. 
any guess which uh, okay we're about to see it Melchizedek the hand of justice oh actually so, that does make sense because we've been going up a line of like angels and stuff that would make right. sense right a lot of justice arcana there are she angels is. Shimi -san. um are we interrupting no not at all did you need something well, the student council led a street fundraiser a while back, and they asked for regular students to participate, right? We were curious about maybe learning more. Did you have any information on that? Of course. I can help with that. Just slowly back away. Oh, thank you again for helping me today, senpai. I'm sorry I ended up taking so much of your time. I'll handle the rest by myself. Are you sure? I can do this on my own. It's just a little bit of talking. There um, you go. If the timing is convenient, though, let's walk home together again sometime. Okay, go ahead and fill out your name and class on this form. Now, as far as what you should expect on the day of... Nice. Headed back to the dorm. So, yeah, once we get... I'll, I'll elaborate a little on Melch Melchizedek yes. here. We got our stuff! Excellent. Japanese doll and some homunculus. I believe the homunculus is why we purchased that. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> Woohoo! She looked really tired. She went straight to her room without saying a word. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Are you worried? I speculate. Worried? No, not exactly. How should I say this? I feel... I feel responsible for what happened. Hmm. It's understandable. Yeah. So, um, Melchizedek is a biblical figure, uh, which is sort of an interesting one, uh, known as the King of Salem, priest of El Elyon, and then um, Jesus was supposed to be a high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Right. Um, so it is interesting. Uh, when we see that persona specifically, um, it is an angel. It's got a really interesting design. Um Melchizedek was supposedly taken up into heaven by, depending on the account, either the Archangel Gabriel or Michael. Um, so, you know, it's one of the things. I am not aware of any more esoteric texts that indicate he became an angel or something like that, right. but it's not too far of a leap. <laughs> right, and depending on which, like, denomination of Christianity you ask or talk to about, there is a lot of belief that Melchizedek was an embodiment, a pre-embodiment of Jesus to some degree. Like yes. it was his spirit either uh, within Melchizedek or that Melchizedek was just a figure created to form that moment with, was Abraham he's, he's speaking with, um, I think? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So... Because there's a couple of places in, in the Bible where uh, people have a, attached a Jesus adjacent analogous role to pre-incarnation yes, is that's what, I'm looking for. what I've what I've heard. Yeah, that's usually the term for Melchizedek. So um, yeah, and I'm sure once we fuse Melchizedek, we'll read the description we have in the game as well. But that's that's sort of an interesting one, along with um, a few of the other angels. Uh, if you have any background in, in Christianity or the more esoteric um, mythology there, then there's a lot to that right? Um, with regards to the various ones, especially one like Metatron, which you don't really hear unless you grow up in very specific <laughs> types of uh, Christianity or things like that. Right. And then, of course, we've got all of the other mythological figures within the persona as well and everything else. So, yeah. Um but moving on, we do have Devil Rank 7 this evening. All right. We can go rank that up. It's our favorite a guy. Naka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Hey, you guys okay? You guys need some, some five hour energy? Need some <laughs> caffeine pills? Something? They're, all, they're a little sleepy. Okay. And you can go home and sleep. Day. You don't have to sleep standing up like that. Sometimes that just happens. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's totally normal. Right. It has nothing to do with the apathy <laughs> syndrome at all. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, Yukiku. Perfect timing. You're not busy at the moment, are you? Because I've got one riveting life lesson for you. 
Entirely free of charge, might I add. Wants to talk to me? Oh boy, we'll grow closer. Let's do it. Let's go! Yes, yes, very good. That enthusiasm of yours is absolutely adorable. Before I enlighten you today... <laughs> well, you notice anything different about me? Your haircut? Oh, please tell me. Oh, we can't snark at him. Okay. Like what? Uh, are you blind? <laughs> I had an appointment at the spa for a facial peel. Isn't my skin simply radiant now? Y yeah, yeah, sure. It's quite a hassle, but appearances are a big part of the job in my line of work. That said, I am the total opposite at home. I dress like a slob and only shower every three days. Let oh me God. come up with an analogy. Hmm. Vegetables. Yikes. Perfect. Imagine <clears throat> an organically grown cucumber that looks all deformed. Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect, but was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would rather stock? Obviously the one that looks good. Yeah, indeed. That's the simple truth. <clears throat> Awkwardly shaped cucumbers don't pack together very well, so stores prefer straight ones. Taste and safety aren't even a consideration. They'll carry cucumbers that even pests wouldn't eat. So, why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth? Simple, people trust what they see. The world is governed more by appearances than realities. That's why, as much as I hate spending money, I buy expensive ties to win people's trust. Wait, you know what I just said earlier? The part about me dressing like a slob and not showering every day. Don't you dare tell anyone. I can't afford to have people start believing I'm ordinary. <laughs> I only admitted it to you personally. No one else has a clue, okay? You know, if you hang out around people at all and you only shower every three days, I think they know. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Businessman, the devil in a coat. Just a reminder do not tell a soul. If you break your promise, well, yes. I guess I can trust you. Uh, run along now. Tanaka, you're a lot like that second cucumber we talked about, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I even. So, Tanaka. My first exposure was Persona 5, and so this has been a very interesting social link here. Oh, yeah. he w Oh, yeah, he wasn't in 4, right? It was a different um, um, different show I host? I think, no, I'm pretty sure you get a laptop in Persona 4. No, maybe I'm thinking of 5. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I thought Tanaka was in 4 as well. Oh, was he? Okay. I think so. I can't remember. I... I feel like to Google. Yeah, Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he was always the one that like ran the store or the the weekly specials. No, he's in four. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Hey there. So Persona Four Golden then would have been the first place I encountered Tanaka. Yeah. Hey, have you talked to the new transfer student yet? Isn't he handsome? Oh, totally. Yeah, I have. Much as Zuki, right? He's so sweet and dreamy. Also, he looks rich. <laughs> I'm going for him for real this time. That's not fair. I called dibs. Because we all know that's how that works. Exactly. Hi, I guess. I don't think that'll ever stop being amusing. It's just funny every time. I love it. <laughs> just staring at you like, hello. If you had laser beams, I would have holes through my shoulders and chest. They were. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, okay, so we're doing strength rank nine. Now, like every other social link with a potential romantic interest, rank nine is when we must make our choice. Yep. Sadly, we are going to have to <laughs> uh, choose the platonic option here. We'll let you down gently. Don't worry, Yuko. That's right. 
If you're leaving, want to hang out somewhere? We all need to take a breather sometimes, right? Ah, oh, yeah, Siegfried, excellent. Yes, indeed. Oh, how about we head to Chigal? We can take our time chatting there. Oh, she was blushing. That was adorable. So then mm -hmm. I went to ask about it after class, and you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, it's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. Hmm. All right. So either option here is good. You're so hard working. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and I got yelled at by a coda. Back oh then, my. I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> we are going to guess an instructor. <laughs> A nursery teacher? My god. Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. <laughs> I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. She do well. Oh, that. It's their job to monitor yeah. each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate, and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's going to be over 350 hours. That's why I'm going to start studying right now. Improving it could be my a lot worse. is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day, and I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. <laughs> if you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Yuko seems appreciative. I feel like our relationship has grown. Uh, also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. Mm. Okay, so with this one, we can pick either one. I'm going to go with I don't mind. Oh. Why... Why are you so nice to me? Because you're cool. Yuko seems restless. I better choose my words carefully. There's your trigger. Are you like this just exactly. with me? N no, no, that, that can't be it, huh? It's because I love you. It's because you're a close friend. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, of course. I sure am lucky to have such a good friend who's so kind and reliable. Though sometimes you worry me a little. <laughs> sometimes you say suggestive things with a straight face, you know? I get the feeling you might give someone the wrong idea. So you should really be careful about that. It could land you in some hot water. Wow, she handled that really well. <laughs> Why? Fascinating. Yeah, so we say, okay, I will <laughs> here. That's the way. Take my advice to heart. <laughs> Yuko seems really Sorry, used. this isn't what I wanted to talk about. Um, thank you again for coaching with me. I'm glad I had someone like you to rely on. <laughs> Next time, I'll be there to support you. If there's anything I can help with, just let me know, okay? We're friends, aren't we? I'm gonna head out. Gotta work on my modern literature and English today. See ya! I need to leave so I can slow down my heart rate. <laughs> Yuko left the cafe in a hurry. Gotta go by. I went to the dorm. <laughs> oh, Yuko. The tacticals exit stage left. Oh, welcome back. Okay, so we are putting lukewarm Tayaki in the fridge. 
I wonder what will happen to it this time. It will be replaced by a bomb. No, I'm just kidding. I, don't, I mean, anything's possible. People keep Who leaving knows? notes with stuff. Yeah. Sorry, I had to eat your Taiyaki. Here's a Nintendo DS. What? <laughs> Why is it in the freezer? <laughs> what are you doing? Here's uh, a perfect egg. Uh, okay. Thank you, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing Ken Linked Episode 3. Oh. Three. Ken. Hey. hey. Doesn't seem to be in his room. Where'd he go? Good evening. Uh, I'll be from the. Did I just like overlook him? I probably did, knowing me. I think he's outside, and that's what he said. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. That's why. Senpai. Oh, Yuki san. I know you must be busy, but do you have time to come with me tonight? Of course. We're going to go put some roses down on the ground where Shinjiro died. Hmm. You know, perform, it's a possibility. perform the old Thank Batman. You very much. Thanks. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get there alone. I'd like to go to Port Island Station. <laughs> so then I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called K Sara Sara. It's down this way. I was thinking oh, of getting Mitsuru-san a gift, <laughs> and uh, I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. That's hey, interesting. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Mm, maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Don't worry, Big Brother's got hmm. you. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. <laughs> Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. <laughs> I was dead, you jerks. <laughs> Ignore it. I'll shut them up. Thank you, but I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, right. If I let it bother me, and it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. Okay, sera, sera. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. Mm. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. Ah. I see, I see. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. I've seen Mitsuru-san drinking tea in the lounge. So when I was thinking of a gift that would make her happy, this is what came to mind. That's smart. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Can't hurt and ask. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. Rest in peace, Director Fury. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. You're really kind. Oh, no, it's just she's always looking after me, so I thought I'd show my appreciation. When I think about what it was like for me, I feel like this is the least I can do. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> Something happened? What happened? Nah, it's nothing. Is that for your mom? Thanks for joining me today, senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. Mm. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me 
I have to live for myself. But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start, but I've been hmm. trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered, like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day, and I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> nice oh, job. I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that oh, little that's things like, like this can pig. really make life enjoyable. Well, All right. that's what I've learned so far. I forgot his name was Hamburger. <laughs> I, I forgot his. I forgot he had a guinea pig until he said Hamburger, and then I was like, "What?" I have to feed Hamburger. Like, do you mean eat a ham? Oh, right. Yeah, yep. got it. Yep. Right. I might try some more things later on too, but for now, at least, I think I have an idea of how to live my life again. You know. I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. Is that hmm. how you feel? <laughs> yeah. I can't explain it very well, but I feel like you can see the real me. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? Let's do it. I listened to what Amana had been up to as we went back to the dorm. Even though we were standing right outside it. I feel like my charm has improved after witnessing Amana's thoughtfulness toward Mitsuru. There we go. And that's why it's November already. The third year student has to be must be cramming frantically by this point. Don't worry though, you'll share their fate next year. I can just see you now tearing your hair out. Anyway, it's a bit <laughs> cold today, but there's no need for the heater. Let me tell you why. Winter is supposed to be cold. You have to learn to appreciate the temperature rather than curse it. That's the Japanese way. Do you understand me? You don't, do you? As Sei Shon Shonagan once wrote in her famous pillow book, Winter, Early Mornings. Yes, that's right. Mm, let's see, Yuki. What was she describing with such a sparse line? Oh. Describing her favorite time in winter. Well, the answer was pretty obvious. So you do have some basic sense. The author was describing her favorite time in winter. She's now famous for having written about her likes, dislikes, and other observations. She admires that the snow represents the beauty of the winter frost. Rather than curse the winter chill, she appreciated its positive qualities. Oh, how wonderful Japanese culture is, despite its modern youth anyway. <laughs> and if you think my hair is frosty, remember that you'll eventually be just like me. I, I answered correctly. Everyone in class, look at your respect. Please don't beat oh, me boy. with a piece of chalk. <laughs> Feel a murderous intent. <laughs> Quack. Ah, oh, chalk. Ow. Class has ended for today. Oh, yeah. Ryu. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. No. Oh boy. All right. So it's He's... Ryoji linked episode two after. Oh, there he is. He's, he's right there. Yeah. All right. Is that a watch? Yeah, I think it's. I think it is a watch. Yeah, it looks like it's like a watch with a really long band for some reason. Well, yeah, it's got like a cross band <laughs> thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe he's wrapped it twice. Weird. Ah, Makoto-kun, are you free? I'm going out with a few ladies later, but I guess some of their friends want to talk with me first. Maybe we should could all go together. Wouldn't that be so much fun? I think they're waiting for me on the roof. Want to come along? Ryoji's invited me to join him. This might be a good opportunity to get to know him better. Should I spend some time after school with Ryoji? Sure. Thanks. Great. Let's go. <clears throat> hmm. Um, it's nice to meet you. 
So, you <laughs> said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Why was there a yeah. heart emote? Yep. You need to stop talking <laughs> to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. What? Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem then. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Qu quit messing with us. Ryoji could get in danger if this continues. <laughs> He's already in danger. <laughs> I should probably intervene. Give me your phone. I'm going to delete all the contact info you have. Hmm. Interesting. I'll just say calm down. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. Did you guys at least let me know who the girls are? <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's very blunt. <laughs> uh, it's tough being popular. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call it? That wasn't really my intention. All right, from now on... I will ask if they have a boyfriend first, before inviting them out. Hey, <coughs> thanks for having my back. You're very kind. <sighs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. <sighs> I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Yeah, it looks... Mm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? <laughs> you should see the ocean when it's, you know, the dark hour. It looks very different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, we do have one that was selected, so we'll say yes. Wow, that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's the still dark a hour. lot that I, I don't mean, understand. Right. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. This one place called Case Rossara. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Spend some time with Ryoji and then return to the dorm. I feel like I understand him a little better now. All stats. I like stats. Who do we even have equipped right now? <laughs> uh, Siegfried, I think. Oh, okay. It's a good one to level up like that. Let me take a look-see. Guess he doesn't oh, really Mata. magic. Oh, Mata is the one. Yeah, up. Mata's good, too. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Mine as well. All right. Uh, Go to the fridge. I see Kormar over there just staring daggers at me. That's right. You didn't pet me last time. Cool, chill Taiyaki. You actually got the Taiyaki. It's happened All right. twice now, I think. 
So we need to go and buy a PC URL. <laughs> From Club Escape Aid. Yep. Club Escapate. Oh no, someone froze all the dancers. Oh my goodness. Again. Why? Go have a look for yourself. It's probably Musishi, or whatever the tower guy's name is. <laughs> yeah, you're a curious one, aren't you? Well, go on and take a look. Fading site note. Matchmaking site with prepaid offering pass. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thanks. I'll be in search for more exquisite info. All right. Okay. So before you leave. Oh, sorry. Too late. Ah, go, ah. go back in. We're doing tower rank seven. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mutatsu. Wow, I was all over the place with that. M hey. Mutatsu. Oh, hey, you're here. Well, you gonna stick around? The Mutatsu technique. Yes. Drink yourself silly. I'll smoke another cigar. Exactly. Spend, right. the, spend the evening with Mutatsu. All right, then go ahead and have a seat. Oh, there you are. Oh, feeling down today, kid. Mind listening to what this old monk has to say? Old monkey, maybe. Oh, snap. Oh, folks downstairs. They're probably around your age, huh? It looks like they're having fun drinking and dancing, but you look closely. Their eyes say otherwise. I bet they come here to relieve stress from the day. But I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you deal with the root of the issue. You can put it off, but it'll always come back. Boy, that's This true. place is more of a refuge than a club to me. Those kids really want to relax. We should switch the music to the Heart Sutra and... <laughs> hey, there's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid. I'll perform a live sutra reading. <laughs> <laughs> You probably shouldn't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Don't underestimate me, kid. My reading of the Heart Sutra will change your life. <laughs> but I guess you're right. This place is too small to recite it properly. What do you mean? Uh, I've got a kid around their <laughs> age, you know. My one and only son. He'll be 21 this year. Just a little older than you. He's alive, that is. Strange, then. Felt an almost fatherly concern for Mutatsu, perhaps because he was projecting his feelings for his son. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. So, <clears throat> sutras are kind of interesting. Um, they're basically from Indian literary traditions, uh, and they're sort of religious okay aphorisms and texts. This country in the hands of these kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, what if they all end up like me? <laughs> well, it ain't like I got high hopes for the future. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Oh, yeah, that whole thing. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. I'm done talking now. Okay. Go home before it gets too late, all right? I'll see you next time. Next time, Gadget. That's right. I said goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. We'll make it through this Morning. month yet. We, we got this. Have you talked to Mochizuki? Mochizuki Kun? <laughs> oh. Why are you asking about him? <laughs> Yukari. <Huh>. No. <laughs> oh, yeah? You think maybe you could get along with him? He seems really um affectionate. Is that normal overseas? Hey there. <laughs> Why, hello, Takuma-san. Oh, and good morning to you, too, Makoto-kun. Uh, oh, hey, g good morning, Mochizuki-kun. <laughs> Please, call me Ryoji. You see, since I transferred here at such an awkward time, I was hoping I'd get to know everyone better. Yeah. Oh, I, I see. Must suck having to transfer schools so often. Yeah. Can't deny that. I should be used to it by now, but it's always hard to leave a new, f new friends. It's a little lonely, you know? 
So, how about keeping me company for a little while? Wanna grab a bite sometime? Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> Ikari san, hey, wait up. <laughs> uh, that was hilarious. Glass is ended for today. He just walks off. Okay, so we're doing <laughs> uh, Temperance Rank 9 today. Baby! Do we have a Temperance Persona? We should. But I will double check. Do. Yes. Yep. Excellent. Baby! Oh, baby! How are you doing? Hi. Oh, salutations upon you, Makoto Dono. Rest assured, I shall create the ultimate kimono. But there's still more work to be done. The miles to go before I sleep. Miles to go before I sleep. <laughs> oh, happy day. I do not know what to say. Let us hurry to the home economics room. If I put in my greatest effort, I will achieve the greatest outcome. <laughs> Agreed. One needle, one soul. This is my super day. My everything. Huh. That cheap material has been completely transformed. I'm still working on the pattern, dog. I could dog. never have done this on my own. Without you, I would probably be back home already. And thanks to all your help, the kimono is almost finished. I feel so blessed. Hmm. Aren't you homesick? <laughs> Don't forget you owe me. My home <laughs> country. With my aunt gone, there is nothing there for me now. Hmm. I just want to hurry and put an end to this so that I may live and die in Nihon. Maybe it's pretty fired up. There's something I need to tell you. I have gotten to know many people since coming to Nihon. But you have been the most Tsubarashi person of them all. If my aunt was still alive, I would tell her about what a wonderful friend you have been to me. I can tell that baby really trusts me. I feel like we're going closer. <laughs> oh wow. And now, we put the final touches on this kimono. <laughs> sure, I am so tired I may be hallucinating a little bit. But this is the last part. I can't give up now. Ready, set, go! I spent the day helping baby. They went back to the dorm. All right, one more rank on that one. Yeah. Kimonos are... <clears throat> oh, welcome back. Beautiful articles of clothing that are surprisingly complex. That's true. Like, they don't look, when put together, as complex as they are. <laughs> right. But uh, if you can make a, a beautiful kimono, mad props to your skill. Indeed. Um, is it just me, or does Junpei-san seem unhappy about something? He's been mumbling under his breath for the longest time. You think it's about Chidori-san? Well, it's probably best to let him be until we know what's on his mind, right? Sure, why not? <clears throat> Which is exactly why we'll go talk to him. I'm just kidding. No, uh, we are doing Tower Rank Eight tonight. All right. Love More Mutatsu. <clears throat> I'm getting some of those social links cleaned up. That's right. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Come on, booze! I want more booze. Mutatsu seems to be drinking by himself. Let's spend uh, some time with him. Huh? Oh, took your sweet time getting here. <laughs> You're late. What kept you, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Matatsu stinks of alcohol more than he usually does. He must have been drinking a lot. Don't you think it's rude to make someone wait? Didn't Dad tell you not to do that, huh? Dad? Papa? Dad? Did you just call me 
me, Dad? Oh my God. Yeah, you always call me an old bastard, but you're only nice whenever you need some money. Oh, you got me confused with somebody else, I brother. I thought you got in a drop dead somewhere, something. Don't make me worry like that. Where the hell are you wandering around? It's late. None of your business. Mm. <laughs> None of your beeswax, old man. Mm-hmm. Well, well, that's true. It's none of my business. But watch your mouth. Who the hell do you think raised you, huh? Uh. Mm. You. <laughs> what? What? Yes. Is? All this time, I thought you were. I guess my eyesight is getting bad after all. Seems Mutatsu was worried about me. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. Spending all my time with clients, missing anniversaries. Birthdays. I wonder if they felt the same way I did. I was waiting for you earlier. Who's they? Who's they? Either one here. My wife and son. We were all together back when I was still a businessman. It's already been four years now since they left me. I used to stay out past midnight all the time. And my wife and I would always fight about it. Now when I go home, I, I don't know what to do with myself. So I just come here and drink every night. Are you running away? Yeah. That's gonna be hard. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I shaved my head, but that was just for show. I get drunk to avoid facing my problems. Oh, yeah. I guess you could say I'm running away. She hasn't contacted me since then. Must have gotten over me already. I have no idea where they are. Or if they'd even want to see me. It's too much of a hassle. All right, kid, enough of the depressing talk. Let's get out of here. I want to go home and take a shower. I left the club with Mutatsu. Hmm. I think his character Morning. <laughs> and um, the storyline really do line up with what the tower presents. How so? So, um, ironically, maybe not ironically, but interestingly, I don't know. Um, Disney's got a show out at the time of this recording called uh, Agatha All Along. Mm -hmm. And there are points in the show where a psychic or medium, who's also a witch, will suddenly blurt out one of the tarot cards mm -hmm. so in one of the more recent episodes she says something on the lines of tower reversed okay and so i was trying to explain to my wife about the tarot a little bit because it's been a huge component of persona and it's been playing into this season or the this series rather mm -hmm. and so understanding what she's saying gives context to what's happening and so, I mean, it was just, it's just like cursory glance. It's not deep looking up of anything, but, you know, the tower signifies a change, a big change in someone's life, right? Right. And, um, like life altering change, typically defining moments and reverse is someone who is resisting that change, right? Which can be indicative of like... Not sorry, calamity, but um, what's the word you used last time? It was uh, 
Hmm? There was a word you used last time we talked about the tower specifically. It wasn't, oh. it wasn't calamity. It was like... Um, upheaval. Yeah, it's uh, upheaval. Awakening, um, change. Crisis. He was having a crisis. Yeah, Mutatsu yeah. was dealing with a crisis, which the crisis he's dealing with and resisting and fighting is this um, change between his relationship with his wife and his son. Okay. I, I, I would say is what we're looking at. But, but also... He was a businessman, right? He was making mm -hmm. good money, really. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and he completely removed himself from that life. Right. So, you know, if the tower is indicative of upheaval, major life changes, like, that alone is a good indication of how he fits into that arcana. So, yeah, that's one possible meaning of reverse on the tower. Um, you know, resisting change, fear of change. Right. Um, it could also represent averting a disaster or some sort of personal transformation as opposed to the upright being a sudden change, uh, kind of just a thing that happens, right. some sort of, you know, transformative event that is thrust upon you. Right. It, um, it's all contextual. And, yeah, but a lot of times the reverse is is more referring to what you're doing because when when it's dealt, I believe reversed is you can see it upright. Um, either that or it's upside down for you. I don't remember exactly. I haven't done a lot of the fortune reading, but yeah, it, it's more directed at you. Whereas the upright is more this is occurring kind of thing. Right. So, yeah, that's interesting. So I just. We, we had talked about it before, about how each of the characters associated with specific arcana and social links yep. represent that particular arcana in some form, um, with with death being, like, the most on the nose we've dealt with. Because um, that's all he talked about was, like, the ending of things, right? Um, right. But it, I just appreciate... Having, having done more looking into it as we progress through this playthrough, my understanding of things, plus out, stuff outside of it, because we keep finding these elements of Arcana and Tarot and everything else, like, everywhere right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so... and, and it's very interesting um, <laughs> to me specifically with regards to the meaning of Tarot coming up. You know, it could be something. It's one of the powers of of tarot, and I use power very loosely here. It's a lot of it is what does it mean to you when you see it? Because these are kind of universal life experiences. Right. But when it comes to the game, uh, there is essentially the idea here is in persona, the character is engaging in the fool's journey, which is what the major arcana represent: the journey of the fool through life. And it's not linear. You could be in Tower, and then you could be in a much earlier numbered, like the High Priestess Arcana, and then you could be way later. Uh, but you're making a journey through your life, and that's that's essentially the Fool's journey is what the protagonist is supposed to be. It's one of the reasons I think thematically is why he's the wild card. Um, he or she, uh, they're in 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 the case of, of um, female characters that are the protagonist and have the wild card power, um, but. The other thing I wanted to point out is this is why social links can be reversed is because you can have a reverse reading of a major arcana. Mm, so, yeah, pretty interesting. Yeah. So didn't mean to go off on a tangent. I just was a good tangent, really though. appreciating <laughs> it. And, and I, like the more we dive into it, the more I'm like, OK, how is, you know, how does the sun correlate? Right. Or how does right star? How does yeah, Priestess. we should. Um, yeah, I think we can probably go through some of these at some point and just do kind of a roundup of our maxed out ones and just kind of reflect on it, given the meaning. Sure. I um, think that'd be a good good thing to do. Um, we can even talk. We're about to have max a, a social link today as well. So yeah. that'll be cool. Yeah. So uh, maybe we can put that on our agenda of stuff and we're plowing through endless floors and Tartarus the next time. Yeah, absolutely. We can do that. That's a good space for it. All right. Yep. Seth Makoto. Hey there. Good morning, Makoto-kun. Well, this is an unusual sight. 
<laughs> we just ran into each other earlier and started talking. He actually wanted to know more about Gekukan High, so naturally I had to share my wisdom with him. Oh, Junpei. Anyways, he's a real cool dude to hang with. Much obliged. Thanks for helping me out, Junpei-kun. Thanks especially for telling me who's in the top 10 cuties of Gekukan High, too. Uh, get down! If Yukatan hears about this, my rep's gonna go down the toilet. Isn't it already <laughs> rock bottom? What I wanted to yeah, mm, those are both good options. <laughs> I got a rhythm. No, no. Dude, quit rubbing salt <laughs> in my wound. I'm just as easily misunderstood <laughs> fellow, okay? <laughs> oh man, that oh no scream was perfect. Yeah, he just started screaming. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you two are pretty close, huh? I hope we can also be good friends too, Makoto kun. Since we're both transfer students and all. Let's get on with today's lesson. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I can't. Are you kidding me with this? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even read that. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, apologies in advance for any butchering of these words. Let's begin today's lecture, shall we? Om Arava Hum Kam Bara Vam. Not teaching today because, well, maybe it's best that you don't know. Anyway, I'm feeling in last minute, so I didn't have much time to come up with a lesson plan. First thing that came to mind was lecture on practical magic, because of course it was. Uh-huh. How about we discuss some breathing techniques? I know some people would say breathing is anything but magic, but two are actually closely linked. <laughs> That's because breathing affects more than your body. It influences the mind as well. The ancient Greek word for breath is nupa. It was a very important concept in the medical science of the day. Later, Gnostic Christians used pneuma to refer to the human spirit, a concept separate from the soul. That was around the time when breathing techniques were recognized as being so crucial to successful magic. I could name all sorts of examples where this influence is felt today. Like yoga, breathing is an especially important factor there. That's true. Or meditation, for that matter. Yep, indeed. There's also a Shinto concept of ibiki, meaning both breathe and inner strength. That is often incorporated right. into martial arts training. Mm -hmm. So you can see how breathing techniques have spread throughout the world thanks to the power of magic. Actually, um, for anybody who's a fan of anime and has not or has watched uh, the Demon Slayer, uh, Mitsu no Yaiba, uh, it's a lot of their techniques are breathing techniques. It's how they, really? yeah, it's how they perform a lot of their form-specific attacks. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it, it's really interesting um, how they do it. And so, like, they have different elemental, like, wind breathing, water breathing, fire breathing, whatever. But it's all about mm. breath control. And being able right. to incorporate that breath control is what helps give them strength and able to do certain tasks. And not to mention just, like, visually, it's very pretty to watch the movements. So, yeah, anyway. that is awesome. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that series. Partially because of that. Which one was uh, it? It's the Demon Slayer commits Kimetsu no Yaiba. I think is like the Japanese wording for it, but Demon Slayer ah. is, is easy to find it that way. Um, it's the one with the guy who has like a big scar on like his forehead, and he's got these little <laughs> unique earrings. All right. So you can see how breathing techniques have spread throughout the world thanks to the power of magic. But back to practical matters. Let me show you something called a Dantian breathing. Some say Gautama Buddha himself practiced this method while on Earth. It's a breathing exercise where you focus on the specific dantian, or energy center, in your body. So the first step is simply focusing on the right dantian, as, such, as each person has multiple. For this exercise, focus on the lower one. It's about three fingers width below the navel. Ah, the gates. Why does such seemingly random spot on the body receive such high regard, to the point of being specially named? It's because the Dantian is where the most energy can be charged within the body. Once you start the exercise, you might notice that the energy you send there can't be felt elsewhere in the body. This is because the Dantian absorbs your spiritual energy, further strengthening the body and mind. You gotta use your chakra. <laughs> Let's try doing some Dantian breathing now. For first timers, it's usually a good idea to place your hand in the proper spot. This helps to maintain focus. Did he say below the navel or above? 
Three fingers above? I, I think so. I think <laughs> I think it's above, okay. yes. So that's <laughs> roughly just below like well not just below your diaphragm, but like that's where you'll feel the most movement in your stomach when you're breathing. Right. Yeah, that would make the most sense to me. Yeah. Once you've been putting your dance in, you can begin the breathing process. Imagine the air you pull in with your diaphragm is coalescing within the dantian, then just as deliberately exhale through the nose. The goal with each breath is to channel energy into your dantian until you can feel it begin to harden. That's the point where you should exhale. And simply repeat this process as desired, that's all. Oh, except one important note. If you're doing it correctly, there shouldn't be any pain. After all, when you boil it down, you're simply breathing in and out. That means mm. if it hurts, then there's likely some sort of mental thing going on instead. Something inhibiting your mind. I'm feeling sleepy. No. Nope. Stay awake. As such. So you should see how breathing no. methods affect meditation, making it crucial to magicians. But yeah, they gotta yell out their spells. You gotta project, man. You gotta, you gotta pull in from the belly. Exactly. Remember, it's very important to believe that you're doing more than just breathing. As a matter of fact, you can even improve your physical fitness with the right breathing techniques. And that leads, in turn, to the improvement of your psyche and your astral form. Alright, that's it for today. Oh, he didn't do his, like, creepy laugh. That's sad. He didn't repeat those words again. Thank goodness. I was hoping he would. <laughs> I forced myself to stay awake. You just want to hear me, like, say gibberish, huh? Hey, you know, you did a good job with that. I gotta say, like, that was good. <laughs> it was a very daunting set of words. <laughs> yeah, those were some complex words, like, he, applause. There you are. Oh, Why hey. I found you? Hey, Takeba. Hey, girl. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well, sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. <laughs> it's just Even so far from her mind. only spoil the fun. Hmm. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad mm. too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> ah, there she is. I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji-kun? Why are oh, you no. up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri-kun. <laughs> You'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. <laughs> in any case, looks like I found you. Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant Back up off, there buddy. has a view of the city <laughs> nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? That's pretty suave. Senpai, yeah. you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Talk about... Thank you for coming to find He's me. Definitely for a now, smoothie. I'd better see to my duties. Oh. <laughs> Just hey, ignored. She left without giving me an answer. Yes, that is. <laughs> for now, huh? That is an answer. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> question is, was that a gut punch, or was that below the belt? Yeah, good question. Oh, man. Violence of some kind occurred. I know, that's like, for sure. I, I don't really have any reason to feel this way, but there was a part of me that wanted Mitsuru to just do, like, a roundhouse kick to his face. 
I thought there was a decent possibility of a slap happening. Um, but yeah, her <clears throat> icy demeanor is more. Yeah, she's got that makes more she's sense. She's got a lot on her mind, though, like legit. Yeah, she's she's busy. She's got a lot on her mind. Yeah, like you said. So, she, yeah, she, it makes complete sense. Honestly, I think the trip would be good for her because it would pull her out of it for a few minutes to kind of like recenter herself. Because she's, as we've talked about before, she's like handling all of the Kiraja group right now, right? She's had to have yeah. boards of directors. She's had to figure out the funeral. She's had to basically run as the sole heir of the empire business mm -hmm. empire but empire nonetheless and that's daunting like i'm sure she had help right obviously yes but mm -hmm. that's still a lot of work that she ultimately has to make decisions for right and if you talk about decision fatigue she is probably in like the negatives as far as her ability to be, be making confident decisions and choices. She needs 100 to be able to breathe. You know. Yeah. All right. Is it so? Maybe time. Strength rank ten. Strength. All right. Yep. You go. It's been fun. Hi. <laughs> hey, Yuki Kun. Are you about to leave? Want to chat outside for a bit? The weather looks nice. Let's go. Thank you. Thanks. You gone on ahead to the field. I'm gonna stop by the faculty office to go over some notes. Sorry, I'm late. I was asking the teacher about something I didn't understand in class, but then it led to even more questions. So I was stuck there for a while. Oh, this is so heavy. I shouldn't have crammed everything in there. Want me to carry it? <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll just think of it as weight training. Still, I can't there believe how heavy these textbooks are. Students all over the world have it rough. Uh. Whenever I come to this field, I get so nostalgic. It hasn't even been that long since we coached those kids, though, huh? That's just how fulfilling it was. There you go. You said it. I had to really put my brains and body to work. I've never had to run around like that. Not even for the track team. Oh, that's right. Here, take this. Kids letter. Oh. It's from those kids. They told me to make sure I give it to him. They remembered my name. Oh, oh boy. Where's yours? <laughs> I got one too. They told me they would never forget their auntie. <laughs> when you get something like this, it makes you forget how tough it was in the moment. Kind of makes me want to do it all again. What about you? <laughs> if the opportunity arises. Yeah, you're right. Oh, but I would like more people to help out next time. It was pretty hard with just the two of us. But once I'm caught up on school, I'd like to take some time to think. Not just about coaching, but about enjoying life and stuff, too. <laughs> I can hardly wait. All right, time to study like hell. Oh, let me know when you figure out what you want to do for your future, too. OK, if you decide on something similar, maybe we could even study together. I want to be the new Featherman R. Perfect. It's the best plan. <laughs> but only R. Don't give me, don't give me yellow. <laughs> we now bestow upon the ultimate form of the strength within thyself. Strength. Rank 10. So, um, strength has followed Norse mythology, it seems like. Yep, for the most part. So, I'm going to go with Odin. As a good guess. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a vodka. Odin is a top. We actually, I believe, have Odin unlocked already. He's oh, Emperor. that's that's right. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but considering some of the others, but yeah. Uh, Adavaka, I don't remember what mythos Wisdom Adavaka King is from. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, I need 
need to go buy some reference books. See you around. Um, Adavaka is really cool because learns Auto Mataru, Medi Arhan, and Firm Stance is the first persona you can get that has oh, Firm you. Stance. Mm. What does um, Firm and Stance I'm, do? Firm Stance um, causes all damage taken to be halved, but it disables dodge. Ah. So it's one of the strongest passives in the game to the point of being nearly game breaking in some ways. Gotcha. Um, we are going to be using it for one of our persona as we reach uh, in game in some of the larger challenges. So Adabaka is a good one. There are t exactly two persona that learn it um, that you can fuse. So uh, that's the first one. Then there is a second one that has it. Excellent. Very good. Uh, we won't be able to make Adavaka till we're like level 72. Oh, though, I yeah. Think, so. I'm, I'm assuming most of these rank 10s we're not going to be able to touch for a minute. Yeah, I don't remember the lowest level one, but maybe I'll talk about that next time. But <laughs> I just shouldn't be too long. I'd just like to take a moment to enjoy that the potato chip brand here is Potec. Potec. Very good. Yep. <laughs> okay, we are going to walk Koromar. Uh, <laughs> what? What, Tanaka, mm -hmm. how old are you? What kind of question? You're in high school. What? That makes you around 16, 17 years old. Why are you so creepy, Tanaka? Don't, what is wrong with you? Don't ask me about my age, though. Come quickly now. Time is money. No, <laughs> go Do away. not reply to this message. Please contact us through the official inquiry portal. Copyright Amazing Commodities Core. <laughs> no. No, I'm walking with the dog. Leave me alone. All right. Let's go for a walk. I hate oh, you, hero. Good evening. It's nice to see you like this again. That Just saunters off. Me. Next week is your school trip, isn't it? First years don't get to go. I'm a little envious that you'll get to see Kyoto. I'd like to visit that shrine with all the red Tori gates. You'll be staying behind as well, won't you, Karamaru-kun? <laughs> when Senpai gets back from Kyoto, let's have him tell us all about it. Please, enjoy your trip to the fullest. Karamaru and I return to the dorm. He got head pats and ear scratches. Indeed. Hmm, <laughs> yes. It's a Sunday. I got a text message. Ooh, Yukari. You free today? Since we have the day <laughs> off, I was thinking of going somewhere. Do you want to join me? Just let me know. Okay. Daytime. All right. Okay, so we are going to do the TV shopping. Tanaka! It's amazing come I'm your host, Tanaka! I'm going to do it! Introducing the bodybuilder support set. Started working out oh but boy. struggling to keep it out. <laughs> keep at it. On the verge of giving up, then this is just the thing for you. Good, good. First up we have Sid's jacket. Anyone can look as built as a brick house wearing this. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is wonderful. But wait, there's Not more. Bad, we'll throw in this kid. mega protein too. Guess how many? Eight. All this for 39,800 yen. That's might be the most expensive thing we've bought from them. Sid's jacket. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Next time we'll be introducing an enticing jewelry set. Don't miss it. That's it for today. We're all sold out. Sorry, folks. All right. Soda time. Yeah, you gotta get sodas. It is Sunday. Soda Sunday. Soda Sunday. Wow, everybody's out. It's a hip hopping in place right now. That's right. Don't mind me. All right. So, after we grab our sodas, what are we doing? We are doing Sun Rank 6. 
had a feeling. I oh, yeah? had a feeling that sun might be involved. <laughs> We're gonna praise the sun. Praise the sun. You're doing a good job, buddy. You can do it. Oh, maybe that's not what you meant. Alright. Fountain Dew. Our map. Naganaki Shrine. Kamaki. Hey. Ah, it's you. I'd like to speak with you again, should fate allow. Of course. Of course, of course. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. Though our conversations, this bench became becomes the bridge that connects me to humanity. Say, uh, how do you feel about a pink alligator? Interesting question. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know. Sounds fine to me. I thought so too. I knew you'd understand. See, it's the main character of a story that I'm writing. Oh. He was born in a lush green forest, but he turned out to be pink. Hmm. He stands out so much that he can't hunt for food easily, so he's always hungry. The other animals dislike him and call him disgusting, almost like he's cursed. So he was used to living alone. But one day he made a friend. It was a little bird that had trouble flying. Every day the bird would stand on the pink alligator's back and practice. It's kind of embarrassing to tell you this. So what do you think? Hmm. Sounds interesting, honestly. It kind of does, yeah. I, like I could see this being like a really good really? children's book with I've illustrations. I've never this story before, so I'm worried it's not going to be very good. But what matters yeah. is that I'm writing it for myself. Perhaps hmm. I can show you the entire novel someday. Speaking of books, I actually came up with it the other day. I decided I wanted to write a heartwarming story just for myself. Yes. Oh, we were talking about books last time with uh. With, with his social link and uh, perhaps a heartwarming story without an ending would be an appropriate way to answer that question. Yeah, I mean, that's what it feels like. I'm just kind of curious, yeah. <clears throat> which I guess it's it's because of my own experiences writing mm -hmm. that I have to ask the question, like, how do you create that without having an ending? Right? Yeah. Because... And you have to ask what counts as an ending if you abruptly cut off. Right. Is that still an ending? You know, like, yeah. It's it's <laughs> a good question. Um, you know, because, like, trilogies. Is is the first book have an ending? Or is the ending not till the end of the third book? Like you're saying. Mm, yeah. Um, depends on your definitions, I suppose. Yep. Usually. <laughs> but as the Oracle says in the Matrix, everything that has a beginning has an end, Neo. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'd like it to be a hopeful tale about finding the meaning in one's life. I think of you when I write. It's like I can hear you telling me not to die just yet. There you That's go. Sweet. Yeah. But yeah, I think... I think when I was asking the question, it's not just about not having an ending or not, but like. The wind is going to pick up soon. What would that story look like? I can like, feel you know? these kinds of things now. I hope it's an infinite I have book. enough time. <laughs> yeah. We should leave. Defies logic. I'd like to see you again sometime. As you turn pages toward the end, you realize you're reading the beginning. That would be a really interesting way to go about that. Like, if there was a way to do that naturally without making you realize you're doing it initially, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. That would be cool. <clears throat> um, Welcome back. But I, I think the game kind of answers the question a little bit, too, right? Because he's creating this narrative that speaks to his experience. Right. And it's fictional, but pink elevator and a green elevator. Wow. I'm doing a pink <laughs> alligator. 
in a pink forest alligator. A pink, yes. Yeah. Pink alligator in a in a green forest. Uh huh. Know, uh huh. Surrounded by green other alligators and a little bird and all the concepts. I think that's really interesting. And so I I, I find narratives that can speak to people's experiences to be very delightful delightful anyway agreed um and if i'm not mistaken we're at time is that correct yeah we're about there i'd say okay i was thinking about maybe doing the evening and then calling it there but if we've got stuff coming we up, can we can do that uh we do have tower rank nine this evening okay. if you want to finish it with tower our buddy yeah might as well Dr he's drinking buddy he's been fun yeah we're getting close we are and now we have to decide if we want him to be our romance no just kidding <laughs> <laughs> sorry man i like you like that but you'll never be my dad <laughs> oh it's you look uh you got some time to talk yeah, let's do it. That's right. We'll go just a smidge long today. Hey, sorry about last time when, you know, forget about it, all right? You mean where you confused me with your son? Anyway, uh -huh. uh, you mind listening to this old man complain? I'm sober today, so sit tight, will you? Interesting. Yeah, he doesn't have the normal. All I had to do was his drink. Get all serious yeah. and recite the sutras. I can make easy money from donations. That's what I thought. That's why I set aside my pride and begged my parents to let me take over the temple. Every day is someone's death anniversary. Kind of makes you think how long people have been around. I'm working memorial service after memorial service 24-7. My little temple was some kind of convenience store. Mm. Why not take a break? Only I could. But I have a strong <laughs> sense of duty. I can't say no to someone who needs my service. It's the burden of a strong moral compass. Such an important role. But, as you can see, Indeed. I'm too busy. I gotta push this old body of mine to the limit. I hate this work your ass off mentality. <laughs> Maybe I should think of something else to do with my life. Can't keep this up for much longer. My alcohol tolerance is weaker too. I've been drinking too much lately. Making a fool of myself like I did the other day. Mm. Time to retire? <sighs> yeah, maybe you're right. You gotta know when to quit when you're ahead. Oh. Then how's this for an excuse? We never filed for divorce. And I've got some pretty good real estate now that I've inherited this temple. It's not a bad deal. Got enough money that I can retire and just enjoy the rest of my life. What do you think? <laughs> What's this about? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, um, well. I'm thinking about asking him to come back. You know, my wife, my son. First, I gotta find out where they are. I'll hire a detective. I don't care how much it costs. And when I see him, first thing I'm gonna do is tell him I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna be concentrating on them, so I probably won't be seeing you anytime soon. Hmm. Well, I'm glad this is it. One brat is all I can handle at a time. I've got to deal with my own son now. <laughs> right. <laughs> he sounds like he's going to miss me. Yeah. I like I understand Mutatsu's a little better now. Mm. It's not it yet, though. Nope. We got one more rank. It better be all sunshine Great. and rainbows. I'm tired of all these depressing If I knew it was going to end up <laughs> like this, I never would have become a monk. I guess I'll go to a detective agency tomorrow. Alright, let's get going, kid. 
Newsflash should be playing Persona 3 if you wanted Sunshine and Rainbows. That's right. Hmm. All right. Good. Halfway through the month. Yep. Back at school. That's right. I can hear people talking. Hey there. School trips tomorrow. Are you all packed? Hey, listen. You bet I am. I got it all covered. You caught up bathing suits, flashlights, snacks. Huh. You don't travel light, do you? <laughs> so, in this section, <laughs> tomorrow you leave on your field trip. Ah, Kyoto, home of my heart. Some teachers think you should be out visiting foreign countries, but I shut those ideas down every single year. It's shameful the way we've lost our passion for our homeland. Mm. Why don't we spend some time today learning about your country's innate beauty? I'm sure your other teachers haven't covered that at all, that's for sure. You all know <laughs> that our nation's flower is the cherry blossom, right? However, back in the days of the Manyoshu, if you were to ask someone what it was, they'd tell you it was the plum. I'm feeling sleepy. Stay awake. Yes, precisely. Stay awake. Anyway, so one day my neighbor invited me over to her house. She fed me absolute gruel. I'll never forget the taste. <laughs> well, I still tried to offer her something in return, but she only kept waving off my gift. Humility is the true Japanese way, but not for you children today. No, you lot are nothing but. I forced myself to stay awake to get lectured at. Yep. All right. There we go. There we go. November 16th. That's right. Go ahead and get this little savey save in here. Yeah, we got a lot more to come this month. Um, <laughs> I'm enjoying the new scenes with Ryoji. He's shaking things up a little bit around he here. He sure is. Causing <laughs> some problems, that's for sure. Yep. Uh, and next yep. time we got the school trip, which I'm sure will be all kinds of interesting. Yep, yep, and we got some new things starting up next time as well. Um, we are in full swing with the second half of this game when it comes to, you know, I feel like the, the halfway point narratively was uh, the ritual and all of that, and now we're in the second arc, basically. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, should be very interesting. Um, just kind of looking here, there are quite a few cool things coming up in November, um, so check us out next time that's right and if you've been enjoying what you've been watching please support us with likes subscribes comments we love hearing comments um mm -hmm. whether it's about the game or something completely irrelevant doesn't matter if you got something you want to share with us bring it on we'll respond i promise mm -hmm. um as best we can i should say sometimes <laughs> there's so many that we can't quite keep up uh, but we do our best, which is good. <laughs> but, yeah, we you keep keep bringing them we, on. We do yeah, read them but... all. We just don't are always able to respond. Um, but, but yeah, anyway, all that to say, please bring it on. We love engaging with you guys. It's been awesome to see that engagement in some of our other series and um, share with friends. And if you don't want to wait till the next episode or you just need something to fill in your time, you just like the sound of our voice, uh, you can always check out our other series. That we've got completed. We've got full playlists of various games between our main series and our tea times, and you know we got a co-op series going on. So I'm sure you'll find something that you'll enjoy. Probably get a laugh or six out of. Um, yeah. But more than anything else, yeah. just so grateful that we got to be a part of your day as well. So thank you so much for having us. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we will catch you all in the next video. See you next time, everyone. Bye bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.